Now we'll look at the reproductive anatomy of people with a vagina, uterus, and ovaries, typically assigned female at birth. The gonads that produce gametes, the egg cells, are the ovaries. These are paired structures found in the pelvic cavity. The ovaries usually alternate generating an oocyte each menstrual cycle. Ovulation is when an egg ruptures the ovary and is released into the uterine tube. The uterine tube can also be called the oviduct or the fallopian tube. It is not attached directly to the ovary. Finger-like projections called fimbrae guide the egg from the ovary into the uterine tube. The egg usually moves into the tube, but it can escape into the abdominal cavity. This is how ectopic pregnancies outside of the reproductive system can occur. The egg is propelled down the uterine tube to the uterus. The egg will only live about 6 to 24 hours unless it is fertilized by a sperm cell. The uterus is a thick muscular organ connected to both uterine tubes at the top and joined to the vagina at the cervix at the bottom. The embryo develops in the uterus which can stretch to accommodate the growing baby. The lining of the uterus is called the endometrium. The external genitals are called the vulva. which includes the labia majora, the labia minora, and the clitoris. Like the penis, the clitoris contains erectile tissue. The reproductive tract of the ovaries, uterus, and vagina, and the urinary tract are separate. However, the urethra in the penis combines both the urinary and reproductive tracts.